skis for Saturday, Sunday and Monday, both looking pretty good as well. Rain chances looking fairly low. We'll get a little closer look at that uh, 10 day forecast coming up here in just a few minutes. Pretty perfect weather there, Ryan, especially for the Solheim Cup that kicks off this week. So he just laid out your forecast. Of course, it's going to be a beautiful one. Our Amy Steigerwald, she joins us live from the course with information on how you can watch these games. But first, we want to get to Steven Jackson. You are just outside and Steven, it could be a mess for drivers wanting to get in and out of there and around town. Yeah, getting around town gets a little bit more complicated, even though we're all looking forward to the Solheim Cup. So this morning we're live right in front of the Inverness Club and right behind me you can see these barricades up with road closure signs. We're on Door Street, so we're looking at restricted traffic through this area, specifically here on Door between Penn and St. Andrews. We're looking at a closure just right in front of the golf course. Also in downtown Toledo, we're looking at closure there as well, but here over on door, you can take Richards over to Hill just to get around it. That's a look at your Contrada Law Firm first alert traffic. Now let's get things over to Amy Staggerwall. She's uh, right on the course this morning. So Amy, how are things going right now? Stephen, the excitement is definitely building here at Inverness. Although the tournament doesn't actually start until Saturday, practice rounds begin today. So golfers will be arriving, kind of getting a feel for how the course is. Uh, so definitely a lot of excitement building this morning. The first round of the Solheim Cup, we first heard about it coming to Toledo back in 2016, and organizers have really been preparing since then. They are expecting roughly 100,000 people to make their way here to Toledo this week for the tournament, which again runs Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. The final touches were made yesterday here at Inverness. Many officials with the tournament have been working with vendors and other volunteers for over a year just to make sure everything runs smoothly. And while there are only practice rounds during the week here, there are a number of different events happening to get you in the Solheim spirit. So later today, the Women's Summit will happen at the Stranahan Theater. This will feature a variety of speakers focusing on female empowerment. And again, that's later today. Other events this week include a celebrity tournament on Thursday and of course the concert on Friday, which will feature Gwen Stefani. Now, as I mentioned, there are nearly 100,000 people expected to make their way to Northwest Ohio for this event from all around the globe. So obviously uh, very exciting, but officials are still making sure they take a number of different COVID precautions to keep everyone safe. We'll touch on that coming up here at 530. For now, reporting live in West Toledo, Amy Stagerwald for WTOL 11. All right, Amy, thanks so much. While the focus is on the golfers this week, it's also a big opportunity for vendors looking to cash in on all the guests coming into Inverness. The co-chair of hospitality with the Solheim Cup, Anne Marie Hinkle, has been working with vendors for the last 14 months to prepare and says they're so excited to be a part of this. She adds that many of the volunteers also help with the Marathon Classic, so they were able to generate a lot of buzz about the Solheim Cup. It's a tight knit community and everybody's chipping in and helping everybody out to make sure that this is a win win for the community, for the golfers, for the LPGA and for Inverness. It's a great opportunity for everyone involved, including the city of Toledo. Local businesses are hoping to get noticed by the thousands of outsiders expected to visit Toledo this week.